Hello, I'm Pierre, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure your AWS Lambda function in one account to assume a role from another account. Let's get started. Log into the AWS management console using the account where the role to be assumed resides. Then navigate to the AWS Identity and Access Management console. Search for the role that you want to assume. Copy the Amazon resource name or ARN of the role. You'll use this ARN later. Now log in to the AWS account that has the Lambda function that you want to use. Then navigate to the IAM console. Find the IAM role that's configured as the execution role of the Lambda function. Choose Add Permissions and select Create Inline Policy from the drop down list. Then select the JSON tab. Add this policy into the editor. Make sure that you replace the resource with the ARN of the IAM role that you have copied from the other account. Choose Next. Enter a name for the policy. And then choose Create Policy. Copy the ARN of the execution role. You will use this ARN later. Log in again to the AWS account that has the role that you want to use. Then navigate to the IAM console. Search for the role that you want to assume. Choose the Trust Relationships tab and then choose Edit Trust Policy. Update the trust relationship with this policy. Make sure that you replace the error under principle so that it matches the execution role of the Lambda function that you copied. This setup is now complete. To test our setup, let's update the Lambda function code so that it uses the AWS security token service to fetch temporary credentials for the role that we just configured in the other account. Then let's use the bottle tree client to initiate an Amazon simple storage service client with these temporary credentials. To do this, let's go to the Lambda console and then let's select our Lambda function. In the editor, paste in this code. Make sure that you replace the ARN to use the role that you want to assume from the other account. Also note that this example is for a Python-based Lambda function. For other languages, you must write your own code. Let's test this code. Choose the test button to run the Lambda function. Because this test ran successfully, we can see that the Lambda function was able to assume the role from the other account. In this example, you can use the client object to perform operations on the Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket of the account. With these changes, we updated the Lambda function execution role with a policy to assume the role from another account. At the same time, we allowed the IAM role in the other account to be assumed by the Lambda execution role. So now you know how to configure your Lambda function in one account to assume a role from another account. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Thank you.